Um, we've already talked a little bit, Steve's already talked a little bit about the, re the, um, the reserve funds. And as you said, these are savings accounts. The, the difference between these is that the expendable trust is really in, intended to be for sort of maintenance type of areas, whereas the capital reserve funds are for kind of specific capital improvements. Now, I can tell you that in those years when I was back at the Department of Revenue Administration, this was an area that a lot of municipalities had disallowances because they named it the wrong thing. They wanted to set something up, you know, to, to provide, you know, to raise and appropriate $10,000 for the maintenance of the town hall, but they would call it the town, the, the town hall maintenance capital reserve fund. They, it was, it, it just was going into the wrong category, or it was a capital expenditure that they put in an expendable trust. And they had, they were disallowing so many of these appropriations. Finally, we said, you know what, let's just go get the law changed to say that the same rules apply regardless of what you're calling it. So when you look at the rules for capital reserve funds, um, it'll refer back to the expendable trust funds. So how do you set these up? How do you um, get rid of them when there's, they're no longer needed? What if you set one up and you ha it, the purpose is no longer, you don't need that Ford F-150 <laughs> from 2001, but you've got $15,000 in that account, how do you get rid of it? Um, the rules still apply. It's the same thing. So basically, these are your savings accounts, and obviously, these are for sort of, uh, at least the capital reserve fund, it's kind of for the big ticket items, and probably you're doing these for some of, some of those um, projects on your capital improvements program that you you know you're, you're going to have to fund these things uh, sometime in the near future. So really it is. These are your savings accounts for doing those things. The expendable trusts, um, really good to set up for things like um, those unexpected increases in health insurance, for example. So you could have an expendable trust for um, health insurance increases or, you know, some other um, insurance inc increases or, you know, plowing expenses because we may have another winter like we just had, those kinds of things. 